from past thing here i am teaching your jee main advance and i am with tani sir from past two years so today's and my agenda is overview of jee main examinations before few hour, hour of exams during examinations time management strategy during examinations paper patterns nature of questions syllabus for mathematics number of questions unit wise and some tips and tricks that is called chatta in anish kutti sir's language now i will take the first slide of overview of je main 2024 main examinations basically why we basically why nda conducts je main examinations there are many many motives for mot first motives is to give the admissions of students in nit and to select for the je advance that is for je i trip double it je double it je college examinations but you we can use this score at many place in army in navy these places we can use them scores we can also use these scores in a sponsorship college that is self self finance college or many government college or we if we get a good marks in this examinations we we will conduct our we will participate in counseling for the admissions in jwe that is nit now number of papers in the je main examination there are three papers one is called paper 1 that's the main paper for je aspirants students and the paper second paper is paper 2a that's for br and the third paper is paper 2b that's for planning basically i will concentrate on paper 1 so number of question in paper 1 there will be a slides on this topics presently i am saying there will be 90 questions number of marks total marks we have to we can earn maximum marks we can earn in this examination is 300 marks the subject as asked is pcm physics chemistry mathematics the time allotted for examination is 3 hours mode of examination is computer based test cbt that means online examinations now before few hours of exams the students should stop reading before 12 hours examinations take 6 to 7 hour sleeps don't talk with anyone before examinations do not talk with do not think anything about examinations that means what will happen what type of questions will ask that means student you should not think about this type things okay don't think anything about future before your exams that means such that what will happen happen in the future what we will do if the marks will good if the marks will bad so don't think such type of things okay i will say be confident but do not be over confident confident ho raha hai in confidence itna na ho ki over confidence ho jaye ki main exam bhi kharab ho so always keep yourself cool that means bindas just before exam just jaise hum log kehte in jolly mood bindas so jolly mood mein rehna right एग्जाम से पहले जॉली मोड में रहना नॉट द ड्यूरिंग एग्जामिनेशन दैट आर वेरी क्रूशल थिंग्स जब हम लोग एग्जाम में घुसते हैं एग्जामिनेशन हॉल में वी शुड क्लियर आवर स्टेट ऑफ माइंड्स अपने माइंड के स्टेट को क्लियर रखनी चाहिए डोंट पैनिक 
कीप काम योर सेल्फ हमेशा अपने आप को शांत रखो किसी भी सिचुएशन में ये पैनिक मार करो क्वेश्चन कैसे है नो no प्रॉब्लम करेंगे जैसा भी होगा डोंट बी फ्रस्ट्रेटेड क्वेश्चन एक दो नहीं हुए तीन नहीं हुए चार नहीं हुए पांच नहीं हुए दस नहीं हुए सो यू शुड नॉट बी फ्रस्ट्रेट ओके यू शुड नॉट बी फ्रस्ट्रेटेड इन दिस सिनेरियो यू शुड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू फ्लो पॉजिटिव एनर्जी इन वर्ड ओके ऑफ यू न फोर्थ पॉइंट इज लीव द क्वेश्चन डेट यू कैन नॉट डू ऐसे क्वेश्चन जो तुम कर ही नहीं कर सकते पढ़ने के बाद भी दिस इज नॉट राइट ओके लीव इट एंड लीव द क्वेश्चन दैट यू डोंट नो अबाउट इट दैट मीन्स इवन यू रीड द होल सिलेबस बट यू डोंट नो द मीनिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वट इज आस्किंग वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वट इज द टर्म्स सो लीव दैट Try to read all question in the first pass and do simple question in this pass. First, I will say first pass. It means you should go through all the questions within half hour, forty five minutes. That's called first pass. Okay. In that first pass, you will do the simple question from all physics, chemistry, mathematics, and you will read the all questions. Okay. That's the main motive of first pass. That should call take. फर्स्ट पास का नाम है सेकंड पास का नाम अकबर एंड थर्ड पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एंथोनी फर्स्ट पास इज पार्ट इज वेरी गुड वेरी क्रूशियल दिस कॉल्ड टेक ऑफ इफ यू इफ योर प्लेन इज टेक ऑफ वेरी गुड देन यू विल गेट अ गुड मार्क ओके राइट सो यू शुड टेक ऑफ योर प्लेन वेरी गुड ओके देन द सेकंड पास दैट इज द मेन पार्ट मीन इन दिस पार्ट यू विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चंस यू नो द क्वेश्चंस वेयर द मॉडरेट क्वेश्चंस after reading the questions and where the difficult questions right where we can do where can we can not do so after first first pass we can do these things so in second pass we will target and that questions okay and solve these questions if the time permits us that means time permits you then you solve Difficult, difficult questions. Otherwise, you will leave it. Okay, right? That's the time management strategy during during examinations. You should invest only forty five minutes for chemistry. I always say you should not invest your time more than forty five minutes in chemistry. That's enough. Forty five minutes is enough for chemistry. If you invest more than forty-five minutes, forty-five minutes chemistry, you will lose mathematics or physics. Okay, and ultimately will not get a good marks. Limit your time sixty minutes for physics if the physics paper is simple. Now I will explain here. Most of the time, for two to three continuous years, mathematics paper paper will be hard, and after two to three years. Physics paper will be hard, okay? I guess this year will be physics hard, okay? Because from past three year, mathematics hard, mathematics is hard. So I guess this year is physics will be hard. But suppose that mathematics is simple, you should only invest sixty minute in solving the physics. If the paper is hard for physics, then you should invest seventy five minutes. Okay. Now keep your seventy-five minutes for mathematics in general. If physics paper is hard, then mathematics paper will be automatically simple. And if your mathematics paper is hard, then physics paper will be automatically simple. Okay. So if the mathematics paper is simple, you should invest only sixty minutes in mathematics paper. Okay. Right. So these are the strategy strategy. For time management in examination hall. Now paper patterns. Each subject has two sections. Forty-five percent question will ask from eleven questions, and sixty percent questions will ask from twelve sections. I already told you there will be ninety question in total, thirty from each subject. Only seventy-five percent are required to do. 
हम लोगों से सेवेंटी फाइव करने ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रॉम ईच सब्जेक्ट थर्टी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सेक्शन थर्टी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स फिजिक्स दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन एम सी क्यू ऑल आर कंपल्सरी टेन क्वेश्चन एंड ऑमिकल क्वेश्चन ओनली डू फाइव क्वेश्चन इन दिस सेक्शन ओके सिमिलरली इन केमिस्ट्री थर्टी क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन आर कंपल्सरी डेट इज एम सी क्यू टाइप एंड टेन क्वेश्चन एंड ऑमिकल टाइप दैट मीन्स फाइव क्वेश्चन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू डू Similarly for mathematics, thirty questions section, thirty questions overall. Section A is twenty question that is MCQ, all are compulsory, and section B ten questions and numerical questions. Only do five questions. That's enough. Now all question getting four marks. For one right, you will rewarded by four marks. For one wrong, you will be rewarded by minus one marks. If you have not attempt any questions. then you will attempt it for this questions zero marks lekin i will say two three points here generally in each subject you will find four to five question hardest question so you should not target that questions and each subject you will get four to five question easy questions so in first pass you should Target on that four to six questions in each subject. That means you will solve in first questions. Mean at least fifteen questions in first pass. First pass means you have get sixty marks in forty five minutes. So now you have to earn in another two hour twenty fifteen minutes. Let sixty and more than sixty marks. to get the decent marks okay so you should do the simple questions for all sections in first pass within 45 minutes and it should be at least 15 questions from the 90 questions okay and in the second pass you will only target on moderate questions you will not you will not go for difficult questions okay because it will invest your it will you kill your times because you do, you do not have time much times in examinations okay right now the nature of questions 20% question is easy ambara kamar ke anthony 20% easy 60% more dead and 20% difficult questions for each subjects the easy questions will be For single concepts, the moderate questions will be multi-concept. Multi-concept means means will be the two chapters will be included in one questions. Okay, two chapter concepts, and the hardest questions that will be include at least four to five chapter concepts. Okay, so when you find a chapter question that's included four to five chapter concepts, that you should not go behind that questions. Okay, initially. when you find times when you find times then you will go for that questions okay now how will do the questions option elimination option elimination okay right so for simple questions that means most of the question that the simple question is called option elimination that means you can do that questions by simply by option eliminations are by ones step solving and remaining steps by substitution and that call that means calls partial solution and partial substitution i will show you that type of steps that mean amar is option eliminations partial solution and partial substitution it's called akbar and full solution that is called moderate questions and hardest hardest questions that is the full solution that is called anthony okay so you should take your data strategy for the solving of questions always and you should you should concentrate on the akbar concept that is called partial solution and partial substitution more when you will solve fully a questions it will it will kill your more time so you you cannot afford that time okay so always fix your on that steps 
that is called partial solution in partial separation you should solve some parts and after solving that some parts you should put the option and you will get the answers ultimately okay that's your call clevery okay that's your play one now in the mathematics faculty so i will take mathematics sections the chemistry section will take chemistry teachers and physics section will take physics teacher okay right now i will introduce first syllabus the number of questions in the unit i will introduce unit wise syllabus because we don't have much time so we cannot afford time for chapter wise so i will only introduce unit wise so unit name is srf that is called set relation function you will get maximum three question from this sections trigonometry you will get maximum two question from this sections complex number and theory of equation and inequalities theory of equation and inequalities in your language you call quadratic equations okay so maximum you will get four question from this this sections matrices and determinants you will get two question from this sections lcd generally i will call this a differential calculus and its are applications maximum you will get five question from this sections and yeah yeah limits lcd that means limit continuity and differentiability and integral calculation in applications that means your area and in different integration in different integrations you will find maximum four question for this sections differential equations you will get maximum two questions from this section differential equation is the applications of differentiation and integrations right so you should concentrate on the first slide of this you should concentrate on the first slide of this sr f trigonometry complex number theory of equation matrix and determinant differential calculus integral calculus different these are the major section you will find in your examinations okay so just focus on this now 3d is all 3d and vectors are also the major major sections right so three dimension and geometry are go in and hand so that's why i left the name of vectors so three dimension and geometry you will find four question from this uh, this sections so including these two topics and previous topics you will find maximum questions and these are called doable questions that's been conceptual questions it's not a common sense because we have three three things that's means called algebra and trigonometry and trigonometry is also algebra algebra is basically called common sense a common sense is not so common so if you learn all algebra and focus on algebra i bet you cannot do more than six questions if you are a average student okay if you are average students you cannot do more than six questions from 12 questions because these are common sections a common is common questions are not that means common things is not so common so think about it how tell calculus and three dimensional geometry and vectors as a conceptual question that is a doable you have learned these in good manner you will so solve this question you have if you learn not, not learn this sections in good you cannot do this questions okay so i i call calculus and geometry as a doable sections okay right then co coordinate geometry 2d four question these are the very long section but four questions sequence and three j these are again very high common sense two question binomial theorem very high common sense probability and probability and permutation combination these are very high com uh, common sense statistics statistics has no more weightage so i will not focus on these topics okay now the some tips and tricks set up for my sections i have taken 2019 main questions from the complex sections if you will solve this question manually you cannot solve these questions okay right because even you will take more than more than half hour more than 15 minutes so you solve these questions by trick that is called geometry graph so i will take a screen split for solving okay split the screen so 
तीनों शेयर करने वो पीपीटी राइट नो राइट नो आई विल ओनली एक्सप्लेन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड आई विल लेव द रेस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फॉर यू स्टूडेंट्स सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सर वो पेन बटन पे क्लिक कीजिए पेन बटन तो ऊपर ऊपर देखो पेन बटन में ओनली वन क्वेश्चन राइट वेरी गुड जैद जैद कैसे की आप बोल सकते हो जेड वन इज नाइन मॉड जेड टू माइनस थ्री प्लस फोर आयोटा इज फोर आप टू फाइंड द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन जेड वन जेड टू सो फर्स्ट इज द सर्कल इक्वेशन सेकेंड इज ऑल्सो द सेकेंड सर्कल इक्वेशन ओके बोथ आर द सर्कल इक्वेशन so i will draw the circle for mod z equal to 9 that the radius is 9 okay center is 0 comma 0 and for second circle radius is 2 so radius is 4 and center is minus 3 comma minus 4 and the radius is For the distance between three comma four from the origin is five, so it will go like that. And touch the circle. Center is minus three comma minus four. A small circle is radius is four. bigger circle is radius is 9 so the diameter of a smaller circle is 8 so i will lift only one unit from a small circle to origin so it will be equal to 9 so the minimum distance between a small circle and greater circle that these two are overlapping so z1 z2 will be overlap for minimum so the distance between z2 z1 z1 minimum distance that is zero okay right we can also solve maximum question maximum answer from this mod z1 and z2 maximum max that means radius of bigger circle is 9 and one unit from origin to a smaller circle so 9 plus 1 10 So ten units maximum distance between bigger circle to a smaller circle, and zero unit from bigger circle to a smaller circle. Okay, so I am running out of time, so I will hand over to chemistry sir. Okay, so please chemistry sir join us. so the way so was explaining the steps for preparation we'll continue that in the subject of chemistry
there are three steps to follow while preparation first is prioritize second is organize and third is execute so what does prioritize mean prioritizing means that uh, not selecting the entire chapter but taking certain topics which hold much importance while the last moment preparation because we don't have that much of time to prepare for each and every topic so we want to do many things in less time so for that uh, i have uh, with the help of other chemistry faculties we have listed certain topics and certain sub topics which are needed to be prioritized for the last moment studies the second step is organize now these topics have been given to us now how to sequentialize or how to study it in a proper sequence that is to be done and third is execute how to execute the plans uh, with respect to the topics given and uh, with respect to the organization shown so let us go to the first section which is prioritize now the set of listed topics here are uh, these topics are on the basis of their weightage or on the basis of their repeatance in the previous 10 years of papers and also with respect to what kind of questions are expected from these topics so the first topic is redox reaction if we observe the je question paper at least has one question from redox reaction that question is based on the oxidation number or redox reaction in different conditions that is acidic condition or basic condition we will observe one question from this topic and the second topic is electrochemistry now there are five topics on you there are So the second topic is electrochemistry. Now we have five questions which do not carry any options. We have to solve it manually and type the answer. So one question is expected from electrochemistry, which can be of these one of these topics. One is based on cell potential. There will be a reaction given. The cation on the left side, the anion on the right hand side. Then the how the process of oxidation and reduction takes place. On the basis of that, we have to calculate the cell potential and maybe. use that cell potential to calculate the emf using the nernst equation now nernst equation is also related to gibbs free energy uh, so three concepts are covered in this so electrochemistry these three are to look up to cell potential electrochemistry series electrochemical series and nernst equation now let us go to coordination compounds coordination compounds has one question either from isomerism or crystal field theory or spectrochemical series or magnetic behavior magnetic behavior means whether the compound is paramagnetic diamagnetic spectrochemical series relates with the ligands whether it is a strong field ligand whether it is a weak field ligand crystal field theory discusses the color of the complexes and isomerism is basically either geometrical isomerism of tetrahedral or octahedral complexes or we can call the optical isomerism which are the mirror images called the enantiomers so those topics can carry one question then chemical kinetics is compulsory there is a one there is one question in chemical kinetics now every year they have been asking about the first order reaction whether it is the rate law or the half life but we should also take into consideration zero order reaction because zero order reactions have come very less frequently and there are possibility that zero order reaction can appear in this particular paper so these topics are important that is integrated law of zero and first order reaction and when we solve that we get the half life period so that is one of the important topics then we go to chemical and ionic equilibria where we come across the terms kc which is the equilibrium concentration equilibrium constant at concentration ka is the equilibrium constant of an acid kb is an equilibrium constant of a base the concept of ph which is minus log to the base 10 of concentration of h plus ions and the equation of buffer which can give us an idea about acidic buffer and basic buffer 
this comes from the henderson's equation and the last part is solubility product now solubility product solubility product can tell us whether the particular thing will dissolve whether it will form ppt or whether it will not form ppt these are some general knowledge based questions like if the solution forms a ppt then its solubility product is greater than the ionic product ionic product and solubility product go hand in hand that is they are opposite to each other if ionic product is greater that salt will dissolve and there will be no ppt but if solubility product is greater the salt will be not be dissolved in water or any solvent but there will be a ppt formation so that can be asked for one of the mcqs p block elements holds the greatest importance in in organic chemistry there are either two to three questions sometimes like observed five questions have also come so p block elements are not to be underestimated in that also we have to focus on the oxy acids of nitrogen phosphorus and chlorine the interhalogen compounds and their geometry the third one is xenon compounds and their geometry and the anomalous behavior of the first member of each family now in group 13 there is boron in group 14 there is carbon in 15 it is nitrogen in 16 it is oxygen in 17 it is fluorine so these first members have somewhat different behavior from the other members of the series so that can also be highlighted while putting the questions on the paper so that is what we need to cover up in p block elements now if we talk about chemical thermodynamics thermochemical equations thermochemical equations like the enthalpy of formation of this particular product or the enthalpy of formation of this particular compound on the basis of that you have given two reactions and then they give a third reaction and we have to calculate the enthalpy of that particular reaction using the first two reactions so thermochemistry holds a great importance delta g is the gibbs free energy gibbs free energy and work equations from first law the first law of thermodynamics and gibbs free energy which relates enthalpy and entropy and we also know the effect of gibbs free energy towards the spontaneity of the reaction if the gibbs free energy is negative the reaction will be spontaneous and it will go on its own if the gibbs free energy is positive it is a non spontaneous reaction and we have to forcefully do some external work or external external uh, we have to do some external things to make the reaction work and if the if the gibbs free energy is zero then the particular system is in equilibrium then let's go to structure of atom bohr's model holds one question every year bohr's model has two particular topics which the people of the j organizing question paper committee love a lot that is the bohr's radius and the bohr's energy while while the electron is from the ground state to the excited state so those two equations where the energy in case of radius the radius is proportional to the n square n is the shell number so that relation is also important and in case of energy it is inversely proportional to the n square that is the shell number so that kind of questions also come like the first orbit of bohr has this particular value now what will be the value of the fifth orbit of bohr or maybe they will give a comparison if the ratio of the energies of these two orbits is so and so calculate the ratio of the uh, shell numbers so we can do it in that way bohr's model one question compulsory we can take it into consideration and hydrogen spectra which consists of the series lyman balmer pastian bracket and fund these series also are derived from bohr's model because bohr bohr used hydrogen as a uh, as a identity to put forward his model so if you revise bohr's model you will get idea of hydrogen spectra and bohr's model is also repeated in physics so if physics is covered or if you cover chemistry section of bohr's model maybe you'll get a better understanding of the physics concepts also now the periodic table let's talk about the ninth topic which is periodic table here we have to see the trends different trends that is atomic size ionic size ionization energy electron gain enthalpy electropositive character electronegative character what happens to them when we go across the period how what happens to them when we go down the group and what is the difference if you you are given two elements 
what are certain points which differentiate one element from the other all these things are covered in the trends of the particular characters then the recognition of elements like previous year there was a question asked that how many s electrons will be there in an element having a unipositive charge and number of protons 55 now taking into consideration they would have directly asked what how many s electrons are there in an element having an atomic number of 55 but they chose to play with us with the language so the question is not of difficulty the understanding is of difficulty because we do not recognize the sp d and f orbitals until we get the atomic number now they have mentioned number of protons so from the definition itself we know the atomic number is the number of protons that means the particular element had 55 electrons 55 protons now if we take into consideration 55 protons that means this particular element is an s block element because 54 is krypton which is a p block element and 55 is an s block element and if we go further it is cesium so if we see the addition cesium has 1s1 2s1 uh, 1s2 2s2 3s2 4s2 and 5s1 so there are total of 9 electrons so the answer was 9 electrons but due to not recognizing the element on the basis of the number of protons instead of the atomic number we are used to consider the atomic number but number of protons can also come they can play with our languages so help with the rest with respect to that we can recognize the element and we can talk about it for a longer time or we can solve it in less time and we can utilize that time in other questions then in solutions there are colligative properties the four colligative properties which are the relative lowering of vapor pressure the elevation of boiling point the depression of freezing point and the osmotic pressure now there are two kinds of impurities one is a non electrolytic impurity like sugar organic compounds and then comes uh, inorganic impurity uh, or electrolytic impurity that has a different effect on the molecular mass because there is a certain factor called went of factor that comes into play so went of factor if the compound is not given uh, if there is no degree of dissociation given like for, for example only nacl is mentioned in the question there is a trick to calculate the went of factor the went of factor is equal to the number of ions dissociated uh, if there is no dissociation given for example let us take three examples of sodium chloride magnesium chloride and aluminium chloride so if there is not given if there is no degree of dissociation given for example 50% 100% there is no such thing given then we can directly dissociate them into ions sodium chloride will give sodium and chlorine which are two ions magnesium chloride will give three ions one of magnesium two of chlorine aluminum will give one aluminum and three chlorine that means sodium chloride will have two ions magnesium chloride will have three ions and uh, aluminum chloride will have four ions now in there in particular uh, if there is no degree of dissociation given the went of factor is equal to the number of ions dissociated that means i will be equal to 2 in case of sodium chloride i will be equal to 3 in case of magnesium chloride and i will be equal to 4 in case of aluminum chloride if the dissociation constant or the percentage dissociation is not given so there are some short tip, uh, t- these are some t- uh, short tips and tricks which we can follow now chemical bonding mot every year one question regarding the magnetic behavior or the bond order how to calculate the magnetic behavior if the particular electrons in the bonding and anti bonding are paired we can call this particular compound as a diamagnetic compound or if the particular compound has unpaired electrons in the bonding or anti bonding then we can call them as paramagnetic unpaired diamagnetic paired diamagnetic up unpaired paramagnetic pd paired and diamagnetic so that is the way where we can calculate the magnetic behavior and for bond order there is a simple trick which uh, one of our fellow colleagues gave uh, that is if there are eight electrons in total in the molecule then the bond order will be 1 0 Nine will have one point five. Ten will have will have one five. There is a trick. Uh, so uh, 
remember 14 any numbers are less than 14 then subtract 0 0.5 uh ye ta ye hai ha yahan pe likh sakte hai so if there is number n is equal to 14 nitrogen has 14 n2 molecule so 14 should be put any number less than for example 13 12 11 and 10 so 14 has a bond order of 3 13 will have a bond order of 2.5 less than 0.5 12 will have 2 11 will have 1.5 10 will have 1 9 will have 0 0.5 and 8 will have 0 the same thing follows if you go to 15 it will be 2.5 16 it will be 2 17 it will be 2 1.5 18 it will be 1 19 it will be 0 0.5 and 20 it will be 0 so we have to consider 14 as the number of electrons so if the total number is 14 then put it in the between and bond order will be 3 in that case now let us take into consideration o2 plus molecule o2 plus molecule has a total of 15 electrons o and o plus o will have 8 electrons and o plus will have 7 electrons if we add them we get 15 now we'll check the 15 ka so 15 is 2.5 so we got the bond order we did not solve the question we just got the trick and uh, this uh, these kind of short tricks can help us the, uh, solve the question in less than 10 seconds and move forward and utilize the time on other questions now if we come to the concept of hybridization hybridization is also covered in chemical bonding so if we uh, sorry chemical coordination coordination compounds coordination compounds so coordination compounds also cover this this particular topic so once we are clear with the hybridization we can say uh, here like there are sp sp2 sp3 dsp2 dsp 3 d sp3 d2 or d2 sp3 or d3 sp3 or sp3 d3 we have to understand the geometry the geometry of these hybridizations and also we have to understand the shape oh sorry shape comes in geometry we have to understand the behavior or the percentage character in sp the shape is linear which we have seen in organic chemistry sp2 is planar sp3 is tetrahedral dsp2 is square planar sp3 d is a trigonal pyramidal bipyramidal sp3 d2 is octahedral sp3 d3 is pentagonal bipyramidal so the geometry is to be understood and this is helpful even in solving the interhalogen compounds because interhalogen compounds also have to show a particular hybridization so we can use our fingers the index finger is the s orbital the next three fingers are the p orbital the thumb and the next four fingers are the d orbitals we can if if in case of sp there are two fingers that means if the number of electron pairs are two electron pairs in the particular compound electron pairs include lone pair and bond pair if the answer is two then we can take the two fingers which is the index finger and the finger next to it so the index finger is s the next one is p so the hybridization will be sp there are certain finger tricks which we can follow and we can utilize our time doing that and all the other things now let us go to the most important topic of physical chemistry that is the mole concept and stoichiometry as we see that this particular point is highlighted why is this particular point highlighted because this particular topic has its application on more than seven topics believe me or not seven topics are covered in this particular concept the concept of molarity which is capital m Molarity is also called active mass in case of chemical kinetics, chemical equilibrium, ionic equilibrium, or we can also call in thermodynamics. Then, molality is the concept which is most widely used in the chapter of solutions to calculate the elevation and boiling point, the depression and freezing point. Normality is the concept where we come across the process of neutralization between acid and base. How strong should be an acid to neutralize this particular base? What should be the strength of this base to neutralize this acid? Normality comes there and the concept of mole fraction is also utilized in the chapter of solutions where we can see the relative lowering of vapor pressure. It is related to the mole fraction of the solute in the 
solution. So this topic should be highlighted and there is one numerical based question on this topic itself. Now, in case of organic chemistry, like Kai sir said, there are certain questions which are very tough. Now, one particular question can have three to four different concepts. In case of organic, organic chemistry also has such kind of link up. Before going into that link up, let us talk about the general organic chemistry where we estimate nitrogen, sulfur, and chlorine, the different tests, which, which is Dumas method, Lasagna's test, Caro's method. So these methods are there and chromatography, where we have to see about TLC, thin layer chromatography. That particular phase of chromatography is very important. Last year, they asked about the re retention factor, RF value of a chromatography. So chromatography cannot be underestimated because there are very less questions on this. We try to skip it, but if you're doing a last moment study, 10 minutes is enough for completing chromatography. It's easy to understand. Uh, the word seems to be difficult and we have, sometimes we get the word, but this particular thing is a simple concept. We can do that with much ease. Then we come to hydrocarbons, addition reactions of alkenes and alkynes. Why do I call these reactions important? Because Alkenes and alkynes on addition reaction gives us the different products which are listed next, like halogen derivatives, like we get halogen, haloarenes, haloalkanes. Then we, we can also get an alcohol if we add water or if we do hydrolysis. If we also can get an aldehyde or ketone if we add, uh, uh, if we add water continuously to an alkyne, then hydroboration reaction is to be highlighted because this, this particular reaction is repeated in two chapters, one is hydrocarbons and one is alcohol, phenols, and ethers. So hydroboration also holds much importance. And action of KMnO4. Why do I mention KMnO4 as the most important reagent for oxidation? KMnO4 has a wide range of applications and it has different effect on different compounds. KMnO4 on alkenes give us a diol, like ethylene glycol. But KMnO4 when added to any substituted benzene gives us benzoic acid. Now two different functional groups, two different actions. Even the conditions of KMnO4 can affect the situations. Like there is hot and dilute KMnO4, there is cold and concentrated KMnO4. So KMnO4 is one of the reagents which can be looked upon to score and halogen derivatives. In halogen derivatives, there is a topic called SN1 and SN2 reactions. This particular topic is also in the 11th standard. Why they have mentioned SN1 and SN2 in halogen derivatives is because the halogen derivatives are the basic compounds which undergo substitution reactions. And substitution reactions come under, uh, like SN1 and SN2 come under a substitution reactions. Yeah, alcohol, phenols, uh, alcohols also go substitution reactions, but Halogen derivatives are the ones which are the prime candidate for substitution reactions. That is why SN1 and SN2 is given there. SN1 is a two-step reaction. SN2 is a one-step reaction. SN1 gives us uh, a racemic mixture. SN2 gives us a written uh, inverted product. Inverted product. Then SN1 doesn't require a polar solvent or a strong solvent. SN2 requires a solvent. The name is bluffing us. Where it is written one, it is a two-step reaction. Where it is written two, it is a one-step reaction. Then the intermediates in SN1 is carbocation, whereas there is no intermediate in SN2 because there is a transition state. One, one uh, nucleophile is coming from the right-hand side and the other one is going from the left-hand side. That is causing the inversion. So SN2 is a simple reaction. SN1 need to be understood with respect to carbocations. Carbocations stability tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary and the least one is the methyl. The order is opposite in SN2 reaction. Then electrophilic substitution of haloarenes uh, that is uh, the ortho para directing groups like uh, haloarenes halogen group is a deactivating group but it is a ortho para directing group that means the incoming electrophile can come only on the ortho or the para positions. Then chloroform. Why chloroform is important? Because chloroform is has multiple applications. Chloroform is used in carbalamine reaction in amines. Chloroform is used in haloform reaction, uh, which recognizes the acetyl group and which differentiates the methyl acetyl group from the other groups. 
then chloroform also has an application of uh, formation of alkynes chloroform plus silver we get alkynes and why ddt is important the structure of ddt is very important and its application then we come to alcohol phenols and ethers why do we have to focus on phenols more because uh, first of all due to resonance uh, the effect of substituents is different like phenol is an ortho para directing group due to resonance phenol is also more acidic than alcohol and what is the effect of the groups on the strength acidic strength of phenol if you are adding an electron donating group what happens to the acidic strength if you are adding an electron withdrawing group what happens to the acidic strength that is to be taken into consideration and if we see there is one particular process known as dous process which is to be highlighted and there is a process from cumin preparation of phenol from cumin now they can directly ask a question on that but i have a high i have a high feeling i have a feeling that they might ask the side products side products now what is the side product we know phenol is the major product but the side product also has a lot of commercial importance in this particular process that is cumin when cumin is reacted with oxygen that is air oxidation we get cumin hydroperoxide which on breakdown gives us acetone as a side product acetone is a ketone which has multiple industrial applications so maybe they can highlight what is the side product and why is it of more importance because we are getting the side product also in sufficient amount so if we are manufacturing phenol we are getting a side product which is economically beneficial so that can be also asked then in aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid we see the addition reactions of aldehyde on ketone with ammonia derivatives like hydrazine hydroxylamine uh, then uh, uh, what do we call glycine and amino amino compounds but aldol condensation and kanizero reaction are very important out of which i would say aldol condensation has one question compulsory on it now i would like to talk about amines this is the most anticipated and most loved topic for je exam if we observe the papers of amines uh, of je exams we can see one at least one question is there from amines and why is that so because amines are the products of many other reactions just like kaipster said one question can ask for different concepts organic chemistry runs through these groups from halogen we can prepare amine from halogen derivative we can prepare alcohol from halogen we can prepare aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid from amines also we can do these things so these chapters are linked to each other we can do mind mapping or we can do mapping of these chapters now hoffman's degradation is very important because it reduces the number of carbon by one if we have an amide which is having three carbons once it undergoes hoffman's degradation only two carbons are left azo coupling why is it important it produces dyes coloring dyes and there are only two colors mentioned in the textbook one is the orange color and one is the yellow color orange color is when phenol is used in the azo coupling and yellow is when aniline is used in the azo coupling so that can also be asked or the structure of the azo compound can be asked electrophilic substitution of aniline i would say only the ones which are nitration nitration reaction is very important nitration is very important why because nitration gives us nitration gives us three products ortho meta and para now we generally see we should get ortho and para but in nitration of aniline we get meta also why is this because the lone pair of the nitrogen on aniline this one is the lone pair this lone pair comes in contact with h plus ion and it forms the anilium ion nh3 plus 
Now, since this is a positive ion, it will try to take the electron density of benzene to itself, thereby closing the ortho and para positions and unlocking the meta positions. And that is why we get meta product also in sufficient quantity. So that can also be looked after. And dihydronium salts, N2Cl, NaNO2 plus HCl, sodium nitrite in presence of an acid gives us dihydronium salt. That dihydronium salt undergoes many reactions. Now there is a trick to understand these reactions. The trick is N2 gas is released. N2 gas is released and the compound, the chlorine, which is with the dizonium salt. This is the dizonium salt, N2Cl. This one always leaves the benzene. Uh, it leaves the benzene ring and nitrogen. So this is released in the form of a gas and this is released with some other. Now the remaining three chapters. Biomolecules is completely based on amino acids and DNA. Other questions are not asked on it. Chemistry in everyday life and green chemistry are to be read like a biology chapter because they are picking the lines from the chapter and they are directly asking. They are not asking any structure. They are just picking the lines from the textbook and they are just copy and paste. So for that, one time read is enough. That is what we have covered. Now organization, these are the set of organization, the topics, how to organize, how to sequentialize. Mole concept should be priority as it is applied in many concepts, like I explained last in the last slide. Equilibrium is the X factor because pH, buffer, and the solubility product is very uh, important factor. P block has the most questions, like I said, minimum three, maximum five to six. Amines is the major chapter to look upon, followed by aldehyde, ketone, and carboxylic acid. Chemistry in everyday life. The chemical kinetics and solutions, one question and chemical bonding, MOT is a must. So these are the these are the points which are to be organized. And the third is execute. These mentioned topics should be read and practice in the last moments. It will ensure a good score. And in-depth analysis should be left for JWE advanced. So we wish all the students the best for the upcoming exam from the entire chemistry faculty. Thank you. क्वेश्चन Uh, chemistry wisdom trick appreciated always stay blessed thank you ma'am thank you sir chemistry in everyday life environment get deleted from main syllabus sir bachcha bazar hai ha theek hai what else chat mein kitna start starting sir hello one minute i am trying to apply, uh, reply for the answers assalam alaikum wa alaikum salam तो इस ऊपर जाना पकड़ना पड़ता है। If you want ask anything, please comment in the section. Please give any information on BR. BR के ऊपर जहत अग अलग से बात करेंगे। BR planning बहुत अच्छा है और एक है उसका third part भी है JW का। That is a different uh, altogether different uh, scenario. We'll talk to it after. Only already we are left. Uh, JRF और PhD के बारे में भी बात करेंगे next time। अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम university के exam के बारे में बात करेंगे। I can't listen your voice. आवाज आ रही क्या? Wi-Fi चेक करो. The session will last in 20 minutes more. Physics teacher will also come. हाँ. Sir, center should be three four dot minus three minus four. क्या सर ने क्वेश्चन दिया था वो PPT शेयर कर दे आपके साथ. तो आप लोग उसको दे सकते हैं अब्राह सर. Two Q will come from electrochemistry. Two questions from electrochemistry. Yes. बोला. Two questions will come from chemical kinetics. 80 percent chance. सर नंबर फॉर स्टूडेंट फैसिलिटेटेड ओके अहमद सर आपका भी नंबर शेयर कीजिए थोड़ा बोलने में कम है लेकिन बहुत अच्छे टीचर है 
Anything else that you want to ask? If not, our physics faculty will continue. Yes, Azad sir. तो उसके लिए कुछ चीजों का आपको ध्यान रखना होगा तो सबसे पहली तो चीज जो है मेंटल स्टेबिलिटी आपको बहुत रखना होगा क्योंकि हमने हमारे टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस में देखा है के बच्चे बच्चे मेंटल स्टेबिलिटी के मेंटल अनस्टेबिलिटी की वजह से बच्चे मेंटल अनस्टेबिलिटी की वजह से जो है बहुत सा उनका परफॉर्मेंस एक्सपोनेंशियली डिक्रीज होता है तो सबसे पहले तो आपको एग्जाम में जाने से पहले आपको अपना दिमाग जगह पर रखना होगा बिकॉज हमारे तीन साल की दो साल की जो मेहनत है उसको आपको दो तीन घंटों में वहां पर आपको ये करना है दूसरा और दूसरा आपको आपके ऊपर कॉन्फिडेंस लाना होगा You have to be self confident. जो भी आपने पढ़ाई की है उसको उसके ऊपर बिलीव कीजिए और उसके हिसाब से जो है एग्जाम लिखिए एंड दर्ड थिंग इज टेक अ गुड नैप गुड स्लीप एग्जाम में जाने से पहले जो है सारी चीजों की तैयारी बहुत जरूरी है और uh, अच्छी स्लीप लेना भी बहुत जरूरी है और एग्जाम में जाते वक्त और जाने से पहले जो है पॉजिटिविटी भी बहुत जरूरी है आप हर नेगेटिव नेगेटिविटी से दूर रहिए जितने भी नेगेटिव बातें हैं जितने भी नेगेटिव बातें हैं उनसे दूर रहिए नेगेटिव लोगों से दूर रहिए हमें सराउंड योर सेल्फ विद पॉजिटिविटी और जस्ट पैनिक पैनिक नहीं होना एग्जाम में डोंट पैनिक आवाज आ रही सर साउंड आ रहे सो स्टूडेंट्स आपको पैनिक नहीं होना है और ये ह्यूमन नेचर है कि इंसान पैनिक होता ही है एग्जाम सिचुएशन में तो जितना जल्दी आप लोग उस पैनिक सिचुएशन में से आप अपने आप को निकाल लोगे उतना आपके लिए बेहतर होगा इफ यू इमीजिएटली पुल योर सेल्फ आउट ऑफ दिस पैनिक सिचुएशन यू विल विन द एग्जाम ओके स्टूडेंट्स और मैं बहुत सारे जो टीचर्स का भी मैंने वीडियो सुना है तो बहुत टीचर्स से भी बात की है और पेपर भी देखने पर ये पता चलता है कि 60% ऑफ द क्वेश्चन उनके पैटर्न्स रिपीट होते हैं आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फिजिक्स एज वेल एज केमिस्ट्री एज वेल एज मैथ्स ओवरऑल जो जे डब्ल्यू का पेपर पैटर्न है उसमें आप प्रीवियस ईयर को स्टडी करने पर ये पता चलता है कि 60% क्वेश्चन पैटर्न रिपीट होता है जिस क्वेश्चन को सिर्फ थोड़ा सा वो लोग ट्विस्ट कर देंगे कुछ एड ऑन्स कर देंगे जिसको हम लोग जुगलबंदी कहते हैं तो वो जुगलबंदी करके जो है पेपर पैटर्न बनाते हैं 60% of the PYQs will be repeated. I am not talking about the exact question. I am talking about paper question pattern. For example, जैसे अगर atomic spectra से question पूछेगा तो उसी को next time atomic spectra से ही question जो है थोड़ा उसको twist करके पूछेगा. तो आपको paper pattern पर PYQs pattern पर बहुत ज़्यादा ध्यान देना है. अगर आप PYQs paper pattern के ऊपर ध्यान देते हैं तो कम से कम जो है out of 25 questions You can score more than 15 questions based on PYQs. Okay. Or physics ki hum baat karenge to physics mein study ye bolti hai ki 50% of the questions will come from mechanics and modern physics. Modern physics jo hai comparatively bahut easy hota hai score karne mein kyunki usme direct question bante hain formulas bhi bahut kam use hote hain aur uske कंसेप्ट भी बहुत इजी होते हैं इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड थिंग आप अगर मैकेनिक्स पर अपना होल्ड बनाते हो इट टेक्स मोर टाइम टू होल्ड ऑन मैकेनिक्स बट जो है आपको आपने जो भी दो साल में मेहनत की होगी उसके शॉर्ट नोट्स बनाए होंगे उन शॉर्ट नोट्स में खास तवज्जो जो है मैकेनिक्स पर दी जाए मॉडर्न फिजिक्स मॉडर्न फिजिक्स के जो जितने भी फॉर्मूलेज है जो कन्वर्जन है उसको स्ट्रॉन्ग रिविजन कर किया जाए The fifty percent of the questions will be asked from mechanics and modern physics. Okay. Now I will talk about the biggest secret to score rank in uh, JEE. I am not talking about score. I am talking about rank. So if you want to secure your rank in JEE, then you have to focus on this thing. That is multiple revision. Multiple revision will be will be benefit beneficial in these last days. Last last days. आखरी के दिनों में जो है multiple revision की आदत डालिए. मल्टीपल रिवीजन में बच्चों को थोड़ा सा बोरिंग होता है लेकिन 
यकीन कीजिए बच्चों हम हम एज ए टीचर भी एज ए स्टूडेंट भी ये बातें देखे हैं कि मल्टीपल रिविजन से बहुत ज्यादा इम्प्रूवमेंट होता है आप खास तौर से लास्ट के जो दिन होते हैं उनमें पैनिक सिचुएशन भी होती है लेकिन अगर हम मल्टीपल रिविजन करेंगे तो हमारा कॉन्फिडेंस भी डेवलप होगा और हमारी हमारे चीजें भी जो है सारी चीजें विजुअलाइज होने लगेगी और आप एग्जाम में जो है चीजों को रिकलेक्ट कर पाओगे तो आपने जो है दो साल में जो भी फॉर्मूले की लिस्ट बनाई होगी उनको दिन में कम से कम पांच से सात मरतबा देखिए और फास्ट जो है रिविजन की आदत डालिए एक एक चैप्टर जो है फाइव फाइव मिनट्स में रिविजन डालने की आदत डालिए ये जो लास्ट डेज है उसमें खास तौर से जो है फॉर्मूले और कंसेप्ट पर खास तवज्जो दीजिए और जो कुछ आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स क्वेश्चन होते हैं जैसे मैकेनिक्स के अंदर ऐसे क्वेश्चन होते हैं जिनको हम स्पेशल क्राइटेरिया में डालेंगे तो वो स्पेशल क्वेश्चन की एक लिस्ट बनाइए और उनके उ, उनको फॉर्मूले बेस्ड और कंसेप्ट बेस्ड एनालिसिस के तौर पर उनको खास लास्ट डेज में रिविजन करके जाइए और रैंक हासिल करने के लिए जे डब्ल्यू में रैंक हासिल करने के लिए हंड्रेड परसेंट सिलेबस कम्पलीशन जरूरी है इसलिए आप फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री और मैथ तीनों सब्जेक्ट के लिए चैप्टर्स की ना कीजिए कम से कम जो जो चैप्टर्स को दो पार्ट में हम डिवाइड करेंगे एक तो वो चैप्टर्स होंगे जो हमारे लिए बहुत हमारे हमारे काफी स्ट्रांग होंगे एंड अंदर अंदर वो चैप्टर्स होंगे जो हमारे वीक होंगे तो स्ट्रांग चैप्टर्स को तो हमें बिल्कुल भी थोरोली इसको रिवाइज करना है और थोरोली उसको स्टडी करना है और जो वीक चैप्टर्स होते हैं उनके कम से कम पी वाई पैटर्न को खास अच्छे से तवज्जो से पढ़ के जाइए जो वीक चैप्टर्स होंगे फिर से एक बार बोलता हूँ मैं पीवा क्यूज में जो पिछले दस सालों में पांच सालों में जो पूछे गए हैं उनके पैटर्न को पहचान करके उन उनसे सिमिलर क्वेश्चन को प्रैक्टिस करके जाएंगे और उसके शॉर्ट नोट्स भी बनाएंगे नेक्स्ट जो है आ, आपके लास्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज बाकी है जेडबल एग्जाम में तो आपको टाइम मैनेजमेंट पर बहुत तवज्जो देना है आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टाइम मैनेजमेंट नॉट नॉट क्लॉक मैनेजमेंट टाइम मैनेजमेंट आपको क्या करना है अगेन लास्ट मिनट रिविजन का शेड्यूल बनाना है कि कौन से टाइम पर कौन सा चैप्टर पढ़ना है कौन से टाइम पर कौन सा रिवीजन करना है दिन में जो है पर सब्जेक्ट फाइव फाइव टाइम्स रिवीजन होना चाहिए ताकि आप एग्जाम में उन तीन घंटों में ढाई घंटों में जो है चीजों को सारी चीजों को रिकलेक्ट करना है बिकॉज आपको फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स इन तीनों सब्जेक्ट के सारे फॉर्मूले सारे कंसेप्ट को तीन घंटे से के अंदर अंदर आपको रिकलेक्ट करना है तो इट इज अज ह्यूज रिवाइज लास्ट मिनट रिविजन पे खास तवज्जो दीजिए रीडिंग एबिलिटी को बढ़ाइए एक बहुत चिंती बात कहूंगा आपसे मैं कि लास्ट टाइम अभी लास्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज बाकी है इसमें आप कंसेप्ट सॉल्व करने की बजाय आप क्वेश्चन को रीड करिए हेलो 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 आवाज आ रही है मेरी जी जी असद सर वी कैन हियर यू हेलो तो स्टूडेंट्स मैं कहूंगा कि लास्ट लास्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज बचे हैं इसमें स्टूडेंट्स से मेरी रिक्वेस्ट होगी इस पर खास तवज्जो दीजिए अपनी रीडिंग एबिलिटी को बढ़ाइए बिकॉज एक डे डबल में देखा यह गया कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे होते हैं जिनमें ट्रैप होता है ट्रैप ट्रैप उनको हम ट्रैप क्वेश्चंस कहते हैं उसमें बच्चा अगर रीडिंग एबिलिटी नहीं डेवलप करता है तो उन ट्रैप्स में बच्चा फंस जाता है तो प्लीज अपने रीडिंग एबिलिटी को खास इन थ्री टू फोर डेज में इंप्रूव करने की कोशिश कीजिए हमें किसी भी ट्रैप में नहीं फंसना है क्योंकि तो क्वेश्चन में कुछ चीजें ऐसी कर देते हैं जैसे गैस वाले चैप्टर में वर्क डन बाय द सिस्टम वर्क डन ऑन द सिस्टम तो अगर आप वर्क डन बाय द सिस्टम लोगे तो थर्मोडाइनमिक्स में वर्क डन पॉजिटिव माना जाएगा और वर्क डन ऑन द सिस्टम होगा तो वर्क डन नेगेटिव माना जाएगा तो ये चीज तब कंट्रोल में आप ला सकते हो जब आपकी रीडिंग एबिलिटी इंप्रूव हो चुकी होगी तो मेरे प्यारे स्टूडेंट्स रीडिंग एबिलिटी को इंप्रूव करने में मेरा ये सजेशन है कि आप इन लास्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज में क्वेश्चन को पेन से सॉल्व करने की बजाय आप किताबें ले लो क्वेश्चन को रीड करो और उसका सोल्यूशन रीड करो इससे आपको दो फायदे होंगे कि आपको रीडिंग एबिलिटी भी इंप्रूव होगा दूसरा ये कि आपका बहुत कम टाइम में वो बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस आप उसके सॉल्यूशंस देख सकते हो ताकि आपको फॉर्मूला भी आ, याद रहेगा इसको हम लोग आ, हम लोग जो है साइकोलॉजी के लैंग्वेज में फोटोग्राफिक मेमोरी कहते हैं अगर स्टूडेंट बार 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 उन फॉर्मूले को देखेगा सॉल्यूशन ओपन करके तो वो उसके फोटो फोटोग्राफिक मेमोरी में सेव होगा 
और उसके माइंड में वो चीजें सेव होगी तो एग्जाम मेरे पहले पढ़ना आसान हो गए तो इस पर खास तवज्जो दी जाए पेन से सॉल्व करने के बजाय लास्ट के जो दिन बचे हुए हैं उनके उनमें सॉल्यूशन को ओपन करके देखा जाए टेक्सट बुक का अप्रोच सामने रखा जाए ताकि एग्जाम में उन उस, उसको हमें आ, उसको हम हम लोग रिकलेक्ट कर पाए और लास्ट के दिनों में स्पीड और एक्यूरेसी पर खास तवज्जो दी जाए स्पीड और एक्यूरेसी मस्ट थिंग टू सिक्योर गुड मार्क्स एंड डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम अपने आप को प्रोडक्टिव बनाओ अपना शेड्यूल चेंज मत करो और जो भी आपका एग्जाम का टाइम है उस टाइम आपको जैसे एग्जाम अगर सुबह मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट में मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट में आप जब एग्जाम लिखने वाले हो तो दो तीन दिन पहले उसकी हैबिट बनाओ वो जो तीन घंटा तीन घंटे का जो टाइम है मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट में और अगर इवनिंग शिफ्ट में तो इवनिंग शिफ्ट में वो उस तीन घंटा अपने आप को बिठा करके कम से कम तीन चार दिन तक अपने बॉडी को हैबिट बनाओ ताकि वो एग्जाम में एक प्रॉब्लमेटिक सिचुएशन क्रिएट ना कर पाए जैसे मेरा अगर मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट में शिफ्ट में एग्जाम है तो मैं मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट के एग्जाम के टाइम के हिसाब से मैं तीन घंटा अपने आप को बिठाऊंगा और मैं तीनों सब्जेक्ट को एक साथ लेकर के रिविजन करूंगा और डेटा ही कलेक्ट करके मैं प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग पर ध्यान दूंगा ठीक हो गया सो डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम नेक्स्ट स्टूडेंट्स को अगर कुछ और पूछना होगा तो वो लोग क्वेश्चन कर सकते हैं अब हेलो हेलो आवाज आ रही मेरी जी असद सर हाँ अब्राम भाई किसी को कुछ पूछना है तो वो लोग पूछ सकते हैं फिर मैं एक बार एक और एक बार एक रैपिड रिमिशन लेता हूँ पीपीटी का तो दैट कुछ फाइनल पॉइंट छोटा तो मैं बता बात करता हूँ पांच मिनट और चलेगा ना जी सर जी सर जी सर आप लोगों ने मेरा नाम मेंटर में डाला तो अच्छा है ना अच्छा चलो फिलोसफी ऑफ एजुकेशन का पीडीएफ भेजो ना मुझे हाँ सर भेजता हूँ पीपीटी ओपन करूँ क्या सर वापस पीपीटी स्टार्ट करा कर रहा है कौन करा पीपीटी स्टार्ट अच्छा सर इधर से करता ना हूँ हाँ चलेगा चलेगा सबसे पहला तो ऑडियंस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ सट्टास सट्टास आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न इट इज शॉर्ट एफोरिज्म टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बाय अनीस कुट्टी सर दिस इज कॉल्ड अ पैलिंड्रोम इट्स कॉल्ड पैलिंड्रोम और ये पैलिंड्रोम जो है ना ये साबित है तो उससे आपको समझना चाहिए कि पैलेंड्रोम होता क्या है जैसे मलयालम एक पैलेंड्रोम है तो दैट ऑल्सो हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड सेकेंड थिंग इज रिंग स्ट्रक्चर से पढ़ाई करना चाहिए कोहरेंट पढ़ाई में कोहरेंट होना चाहिए और अपने पढ़ाई में सिमेट्री होना चाहिए ये तीनों चीज रहने से क्या होता है इजिली आप uh, कोई भी चीज को एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं जेडब्ल्यू का एग्जाम क्यों देना ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है आप लोगों को पता नहीं आ, लोग आईआईटी समझते हैं लेकिन आईआईटी नहीं एनआईटी के लिए भी और आरईसी के लिए भी इंपॉर्टेंट है और एक और भी बहुत सारे रेप्यूटेड कॉलेजेस हैं इंडिया में जिसके लिए जेडब्ल्यू इंपॉर्टेंट है कितने लोगों को ये बात पता है कि आप जेडब्ल्यू के थ्रू इंडिया के आर्मी नेवी और एयरफोर्स में भी जा सकते हैं बाई टेक्निकल एंट्री इट इज टी एस बोलते उसको अगर कोई टाइप करो असर सर टाइप करो टेक्निकल एंट्री स्कीम ये लोगों को पता नहीं है एक मरतबा जेडब्ल्यू देने से आप चार मरतबा आप एस एस बी के इंटरव्यू में जा सकते हैं दो बार नेवी का दो बार एयरफोर्स का ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज आपको पता होना चाहिए नेक्स्ट देखो एन टी ए नेशनल टेस्टिंग एजेंसी है बॉडी जो जेडब्ल्यू के एग्जाम कंडक्ट करता है अगर हमारे बच्चे छोटे हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि हमारे बच्चे जेडब्ल्यू मेन्स में फर्स्ट अटेम में मार्क्स लाए तो उन्होंने नवोदय का एग्जाम देना चाहिए उन्होंने सैनिक स्कूल का एग्जाम देना चाहिए छोटो बचपन में उन्होंने आर एम एस का एग्जाम देना चाहिए और आर एम सी का एग्जाम देना चाहिए ये नवोदय हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में होता है सैनिक स्कूल हर स्टेट में होता है आर एम एस इंडिया में पांच है 
और आर एम सी इंडिया में एक है देहरादून ये सारे एग्जाम को भी बचपन के लेवल में एन टी ए ही कंडक्ट करता है नवोदय फिफ्थ पे होता है सैनिक स्कूल सिक्स पे होता है आर एम एस सेवेंथ पे होता है और आर एम सी एट पे होता है अगर किसी बच्चों ने ये एग्जाम को दिया क्रैक किया वो बच्चा आसानी से जे डब्ल्यू भी क्रैक करेगा इलेवेंथ और ट्वेल्थ में डायरेक्टली क्लास लगाने से क्रैक नहीं होता ये बात याद होगी कंसिस्टेंट एफर्ट चाहिए बिंदास पढ़ाई पढ़ाई में उसको मजा आना चाहिए तो ही जे डब्ल्यू क्रैक कर सकता है जेडब्ल्यू क्रैक करने के लिए एनसीआरटी पढ़ना जरूरी है एनसीआरटी में आप एक बुक के मार्केट में जिसका नाम है आर डी शर्मा कितने लोगों ने उसका नाम सुना उसमें मैं अमर अकबर आंदोलन बोलता हूँ वेरी शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन एक दूसरा मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन दो और तीसरा मैं हमेशा बोलता हूँ लॉर्ड्स टू हॉट्स लोअर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल से हाइयर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल तक जाना जरूरी है ये तीन चीज अगर हमारे बच्चों को बचपन से हम पढ़ाएंगे ना इजिली जे डब्ल्यू का एग्जाम भी क्लियर कर सकते हैं याद रखना और एक क्या है बच्चों ने वह बना के रखा मैं हमेशा बोलता ये 80-20 रूल पता है सबको 80-20 रूल में याद रखो जे डब्ल्यू में भी 20 परसेंट ईजी आता है और 80 परसेंट में वो 20 परसेंट ही बहुत ही टफ रहता है 60 परसेंट मॉडरेट रहता है तो अगर वो भी पता चल गया ना कि कैसे अटेंड करने का तो भी बच्चा पास हो जाता नेगेटिव मार्किंग है तो ध्यान से करना चाहिए टाइम मैनेजमेंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जैसे एनडीए में भी पता है ना 120 क्वेश्चन आपको 150 फिफ्टी मिनट्स में करना पड़ सकता तो क्वेश्चन से आंसर नहीं आपको आंसर से क्वेश्चन में जाना पड़ता रिवर्स साइकोलॉजी जिसको मैं सट्टा बोलता हूँ वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है पेपर पैटर्न को समझना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट अभी चेंज किया उन्होंने <laughs> पहले अलग था अभी ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन कंपल्सरी किया और न्यूमरिकल क्वेश्चन बढ़ाया तो ये चेंज पैटर्न समझना जरूरी है ये देखो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अमर अकबर में अंदर ट्वेंटी इजी सिक्सटी मॉडरेट और ट्वेंटी डिफिकल्ट जेडब्ल्यू मेन्स में एक ही आंसर राइट है तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अच्छा एक और बात याद रखना जो बच्चे बोल जाते हैं इलेवंथ में पढ़ाई नहीं करते सर ट्वेल्थ में पढ़ाई करते फोर्टी परसेंट पोर्शन इलेवंथ का आता है और सिक्सटी परसेंट ट्वेल्थ का आता है अगर इलेवंथ में मैग्नेटिज्म नहीं पढ़ा तो ट्वेल्थ में इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स नहीं समझेगा बिकॉज दोनों भी एनालॉगस है एनालॉगस ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट है ये पीपीटी शेयर कर सकते हैं बाकी बत, आप लोगों के पास अगर पीएनसी नहीं आया तो प्रॉपर्टी आएगा ही नहीं कॉम्पिटिशन कॉम्बिनेशन नहीं आया तो प्रॉपर्टी आएगा नहीं जिनको कैलकुलस हार्ड जाता है उसको स्टैटिस्टिक्स करना चाहिए कुछ क्वेश्चन एलजीबरा कॉमन है उसको देखना चाहिए हमारे कई सर है वो बोल नहीं पाए लेकिन प्रीवियस ईयर्स के जो पेपर रहता है ना वो किया तो बहुत हो गया ए आई एस ए आई एस ए आई डब्ल एस सी करके पेपर आता था तो वही क्वेश्चन अगर किया था टाटा मैक्रो हिट का एक बुक आता है फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी थ्री ईयर्स का सॉल्व पेपर्स आई आई टी जेई का वो बुक भी अगर आपके पास मिल गया ना काफी है उसको भी सॉल्व कर सकते उसका पीपीटी भी मिलता है उसका पीडीएफ भी मिलता है आपको चाहिए तो बात करें अमर अकबर अंतरी अगेन अब प्रायोरिटाइज कर सर्गनाइज करो और एग्जीक्यूट करो जो पढ़ा रहे हैं टीचर्स है इंपॉर्टेंट बनाना चाहिए कि कैसे पढ़ाए तो भी ऑर्गेनाइज करना चाहिए क्या करना चाहिए कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ पढ़ाई करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ऑप्टिमिस्ट रहो पैनिक नहीं होना चाहिए ये भी पता होना चाहिए जेडब्ल्यू में हमारे पास दो चांस है साल में बच्चे क्या करते हैं फॉर्म भरने में पैसे ज्यादा करके एक ही बार देते हैं हमने दो बार देना चाहिए इलेवंथ के सिलेबस पे पहली बार दूसरी बार इलेवंथ और ट्वेल्थ के सिलेबस पे क्योंकि दोनों में अक्सर देखा गया था सेकंड टाइम में ज्यादा मार्क्स मिल जाते हैं क्योंकि एग्जाम देने का जो टेक्निक है वो भी पावरफुल हो जाता है थैंक यू फॉर योर कॉइन कॉपरेशन एम का सेमिनार है डेट्स कब है उसका हैदराबाद में अबरार भाई जी फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड मार्च फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड मार्च सब लोगों से रिक्वेस्टेड है कि आप लोग सब इसको ज्वाइन करें हैदराबाद में होने वाला है तो प्लीज अटेंड थैंक यू थैंक यू अब और कुछ तो बताइए बताइए क्वेश्चन आए बहुत सारे वापस चैट से ओके अच्छा सर के लिए क्या बोला अच्छा टाटा मैक्रो हिल का बुक वेरी गुड कुछ है तो पूछ सकते हैं क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस 
you can take few questions question of the audience is thank you all hyderabad sir sir uh -huh. how many questions are there in jw means jw means maybe 30 30 30 90 ho gaya na okay 20 20 bhi compulsory ho gaya okay sir thank you sir Any other question from the audience? Yes, yes sir. I want to ask question: How to complete statistics of different examination? A very good question. Very, very good question. Very good statistics. Match cut topic. Bolga. Match cut statistics. Yes, topic statistics hai, means mean, median, mode, and. Ah, ah, ah. Boy, boy, boy. I am telling you something which I never tell. It's a business point. But Maestro, if you find Maestro. any books in the market now, there is no book very good book for statistics. So what you have to do? There ah, is an ISC board. I am replying, sir. Chat box will go ISC board. ICC का जो board है ना, उसका eleven twelve को ISC बोला जाता है. और उसका जो book है ना, उसमें जो statistics है ना, वो सबसे अच्छा. अगर उसको पढ़ लिया तो statistics अच्छे से होगा GW level का. I repeat, those students who want to do statistics very well and they are not finding a very good book. ICC board is there. Like how we have got uh, our local board, state board, CBSE board, like that. There is an ICC board. So in that ICC board, the eleventh and twelfth is called ISC. Us ISC me statistics बहुत अच्छे से समझा है. Lots से लेके hot तक. Because as I said, sir, lots to hot. Lower order thinking skill से higher order thinking. Class ten, uh, class eleventh or twelfth? Eleventh and twelfth. Eleventh and twelfth को ISC कहा जाता है. सर बुक किस क्लास का लेना होगा आप आई एस सी का बुक देखिए ना आप देखो ना ओके सर ओके सर थैंक यू फॉर यूर रिप्लाई मैं आप सीबीएसई की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ आई सी एस सी की बात कर रहा हूँ आई सी एस सी को जब इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में जब जाते हैं ना तो उसको आई एस सी बोला जाता है और बहुत बेहतरीन बुक है I am huge fan of yours. Raza kala sir, dua karo mere liye. Theek hai, salam sir. Waalaikum salam. Okay, PPT sir. Someone kar. is asking how to plan for students who are in grade five or grade six now. Maine iska answer diya na aapko. Maine aapko answer diya. Wapis mein aap record karo. Maine answer diya. Maine bahut pate ki baat batayi. Aap logon ne sunen hai. Maine ye kaha ki JW koon conduct karta. Bolo bachche log JW koon conduct karta. Start chat box mein likho. जेडब्ल्यू कंडक्ट करता है एनटीए जोर से बोलो एनटीए नेशनल टेस्टिंग एजेंसी नेशनल टेस्टिंग एजेंसी छोटे बच्चों को स्टैंडर्ड फाइव में नवोदय कंडक्ट करता है स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स में नवोदय हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में एक होता है स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स में एनटीए सैनिक स्कूल का एंट्रेंस कंडक्ट करता है स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ में एन टी का एग्जाम एग्जाम कंडक्ट करता है और स्टैंडर्ड आर एम सी का एग्जाम कंडक्ट करता है अगर किसी छोटे बच्चों ने फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट में नवोदय स्कूल आर एम एस और आर एम सी का एग्जाम दिया वो बच्चा आसानी के साथ जेडब्ल्यू का एग्जाम इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में क्रैक करेगा विशाल क्लियर है यस सर सर आई वांट टू आस्क द नेम ऑफ ऑथर ऑफ आई सी एस सी बुड बुक देर आर वेरियस पब्लिकेशन एनी पब्लिकेशन विल डू एनी पब्लिकेशन एनी पब्लिकेशन सर ISI Kolkata Indian Statistical Institute Kolkata Very good very good question very good question MashaAllah abhi to career counseling kar raha hu kya dikhta ISI Kolkata ke alawa ISI Chennai bhi hai First August ko uska exam hota hai first August every first August remember this uska form bhi bharna hai pamphlet bhi banao viral bhi karo <coughs> One of the best institutes in India uske exams conduct hote hain mathematics mein jisko interest hai aur ISI Chennai bhi hai sir aur ISI Kolkata bhi hai इंडियन स्टैटिस्टिकल इंस्टीट्यूट अरे कोलकाता का इंडियन स्टैटिस्टिकल इंस्टीट्यूट है चेन्नई का नाम असद सर ये मैथमेटिकल इंस्टीट्यूट चेन्नई मैथमेटिकल इंस्टीट्यूट सी एम आई है एग्जाम होता है रिमेम्बर दिस तो वो एग्जाम अगर कंडक्ट बच्चे अगर एग्जाम दिया ना तो जिन बच्चों को आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस मशीन लर्निंग डाटा साइंस में इंटरेस्ट है उन्होंने मैथ्स पढ़ना चाहिए Mathematics is going to be life. Life is going to be mathematics. 
तो प्लीज अप्लाई फॉर दैट एग्जाम्स आईएसआई के लिए भी और सीएमआई के लिए भी आई होप आई गिवन द आंसर सर इज देयर एनी फैकल्टी ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम आई आई एम आल्सो क्वालिफाइड आईएसआई विद रैंक 7 फैंटास्टिक सर फैंटास्टिक सर वी आर गिविंग फैकल्टी ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम एट पुणे फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट if if online if there is some seminar like how mfir is organized we always do it but when you come offline we do the training uh, we, uh, we are glad to invite you to, to pune at least for 3 days sir we can learn a lot of things from you sir is there any accommodation sir yeah, yeah we provide the... accommodation also okay, you have to pay only you. for the food everything is free thank you sir you can come you can share my number asad sir number likh do mera 9890 wala ठीक है भाई बज के गए इन पटना बिहार विच इंस्टीट्यूट इन पटना बिहार पटना बिहार आई एम ऑल्सो ऑन यूट्यूब विथ मैथ्स पाठशाला टू पॉइंट जीरो सर मेरे नंबर पे आपको व्हाट्सअप करो ना मेरा नंबर लिखा है मैंने I'll, okay, I'll follow you sure. on YouTube also. Yes, sir. My Imran sir is also doing sir. very good. Imran sir, Imran sir, को भी देखो. He is also doing a very good work for uh, logic and reasoning, quantitative aptitude. उनके भी वीडियो अच्छे हैं. Abraham sir, उनको भी कभी बुलाओ आप वेबिनार के लिए. Imran sir from Rajasthan. Yes, sir. मैं आपको बोलूँगा. Prime Minister Modi ने उनको प्रेस किया था. उन्होंने 500 ऐप बनाए थे mathematics के. प्लीज शेयर इज कॉन्टेक्ट ग्रेट सर हाँ मेरे पास कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर नहीं है लेकिन उनको आप कनेक्ट करो उनको बुलाओ वेबिनार पर एनी फाइनल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस बिफोर वी क्लोज दिस सेकंड माशाल्लाह ग्रेट अनीस सर एंड हिज टीम लर्न सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड इनशाला दैट विल हेल्प इन राइटिंग द एग्जाम ऑल्सो सर फॉर गिविंग योर पीशियस टाइम thanks to all of members everybody members. wants to do we are solving question papers from tuesday onwards 7 to 10 we can send the link you people you people can join it is live on youtube also one hour of physics one hour of chemistry and one hour of maths every day in the mornings from 7 to 10 abra sir aapka link mil jayega aap logo ko bhej sakte ho apne group mein attend kar sakte ho okay ji sir sure inshallah just uh, i wanted to check uh, how the ppt will be shared we have to share our email id सर मैंने मेरा नंबर दिया हो आप मुझे व्हाट्सएप पे भेज मैसेज कीजिए मैं बोल दूंगा अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है शुक्रिया चैट बॉक्स में मेरा नंबर माय YouTube चैनल इज नोन बाय द नेम अनीस कुट्टी तो यू जस्ट टाइप YouTube चैनल का लिंक दे दो चैट बॉक्स में तो यू विल गेट टू नो शुक्रिया टाइप अनीस कुट्टी लिख दो प्लीज नोट डाउन असद सर नंबर इन द चैट बॉक्स एंड यू कैन मैसेज हिम टू डिस्कस हाउ टू गेट हिज पीपीटी इंशाल्लाह Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you, sir. Mister, just now only got it. Why did you cut it? Did you cut it? Lock, lock, lock.